All right, we're riding in um, my wife's car, so she doesn't have a phone holder, right? Phone holder. Johnny's over there, but he can't. Um, he can't see you. All right, so we went to Chick Fil A. Um, skipping out a first hour, I think. And before I eat anything from Chick-fil-A for breakfast, um, I have to inform you stupid people. Oh, that's not a good word. I have to inform you. Yeah, stupid people is a good word. I understand that when you are um, young and learning how to drive, they teach you to leave a car, two car distance between you and the person in front of you because you know, stopping time and higher speeds is different. I get all that. But when you're in a drive-through, you're supposed to put your bumper touching the bumper of the person in front of you, or at least closer than a car length, so that the people behind you can give their order, so someone else can start cooking it, or I don't know, pay for their food while you're getting your food. Lots of reasons why you should scoot up A to B when you're in the line. I know. Not everyone knows what A to B is, but figure it out. The second thing is, and I'm speaking of the person who didn't know how to drive through the drive through If you got to take out a loan to buy some Chick-fil-A food, which I get it, it's expensive. But when you have to split your transaction over a credit card and a handful of cash, you probably should be making your breakfast at home. Save up some money, pay your bills, get a better job. What do we got? Chicken minis. This fool's eating chicken minis. He's gonna give me a chicken mini to show you. I'm not gonna eat it. Damn, stingy. I'm just gonna show it. Chicken minis. Chicken on a dinner roll. That's what that is. And he can't talk because his mouth is full of chicken minis. He got the 10 chicken minis. Of course, with the meals you get. Trash. Hash browns, AKA, he says trash. You just little hash browns. All right, so here's where the controversy starts. That's my bus. Oh, that was your bus. Eh, bunch of chumps. This is called a chicken burrito. First of all, I don't appreciate. He's late. He's way late because of the rain. I don't appreciate these people who are sitting out in front of the school while those other chumps who are wet at the bus stop um, are pulling up. I don't appreciate them calling this a burrito. I'm not going to get racist, all right? I'm just going to say that I have some criteria for burritos. It's not a burrito, it's a breakfast burrito. No, dude. Okay, I have some criteria for breakfast burrito. For breakfast burrito, you gotta have eggs. <clears throat> gotta have some eggs. You gotta have a protein like chicken, beef, pork. You gotta have some beans. And you gotta have some cheese. And you gotta have a sauce that's hotter than ketchup. So, for you creators at Chick-fil-A, this is not a breakfast burrito. I mean, that's a, that's like one of them cultural appropriations. This is a wrap. Because you wrap crap up in it later in the day and you call it a wrap. A wrap crap? Wrap crap. And so in the morning you want to call it a burrito. This is not a burrito. I didn't say it was bad. I just said it's not a burrito. And this ain't chile. It's not even salsa. It's flavored ketchup and it's good I just wish you'd call it what it is I wish you'd call it what it is okay breakfast wrap chicken breakfast wrap from chick fil -A. the first bite is the worst bite because it's dry they don't put any spicy ketchup on the inside you have to take the spicy ketchup and place it on every bite. There's not enough for you to get through this whole breakfast wrap. Okay. 
let's see. That's better. It is. It's good. It's a good chicken wrap. It was not a breakfast burrito. And then to make my bones healthy, I'm gonna chug down some milk. Chocolate. Yeah. Oh, that was hard. That's crazy. You just got here. They only got three minutes to class. Three minutes. No time for breakfast in the cafeteria. I think they get extra time. I don't know. Here's the thing. You gotta pull your car over. You can't drive and eat one of these things because you gotta put sauce bite, sauce bite. That's true. Or just open it. Oh, no, no. You open this thing up. This is like, this is like a little kid sneaking in before Christmas and trying to unwrap a present, see what it is and put it back together. You can't rewrap a breakfast wrap. You can rewrap a burrito because it's authentic. That's true. That's true. It's no cap. Yeah. No cap. But a wrap, once it's wrapped, it don't go back. Oh, is there a fire under school? We got live action here. There goes ladder truck. Here's another thing. There's another thing we need to talk about. I got Mitchell's friend. No, sir. Ladder 20. Oh, yeah. By the way, before we were talking about dumb people, especially when it comes to motor vehicle operations, it's illegal to be dumb and be a driver. Or I should say, the legal term is, it's illegal to be a dumb driver. And you look comments below. <laughs> I'll have my buddy, David Victor, respond. Who's David Victor? David Victor is code. Or if you're on the other side of the fence, it's Delta Victor. He knows who he is. Right, DV? <laughs> Confirm down below. We don't want to use his name, because down below, and confirm that dumb driving is illegal so you send these ladder trucks out do you know how much money it costs to buy and operate a ladder truck it's a lot it's millions millions of dollars and they put in you know what a ladder truck is used for ladder right they're going to climb up to something you got a car crash you don't need a ladder you had somebody fell down at the house because they slipped on a banana peel. You don't need a ladder. You don't need it. Shh. Oh, I got a rant. You don't need it. You see all these trucks. Millions of dollars worth of equipment running up and down the road for nonsense. So they can get, oh, we got numbers. Oh, look how many calls we ran. We need to buy some more ladder trucks. And we need to buy some more um, little robot firemen to come work for us. It is a scam. Citizens of America, you are being scammed. Go to some of the largest cities in America with refineries and petrochemicals. They got volunteers. I think I'm going to take this because I need a water bottle. You're going to take an empty water bottle to school to steal water from the water fountain. That's pretty smart. They have, they have a thing that you just put it under an egg. And it says how many water bottles I've saved. I, I saved a thousand. Johnny saved a thousand uh, sea turtles from getting straws up their nose. Good job. What you learn about that in science? Yeah, good job. Let me tell you though, you gotta be careful. Yesterday I was out at Mays County Fairgrounds and I had a water bottle and went to one of those stations he's talking about. You stick your water bottle in and refill it. Oh. Don't they got filters out in Mays County? Dang, that water is dog water. I've been in that lake in prior fishing. I hope they ain't drinking that water. I got some talkies. Talkies? 
some. Funky for lunch? No. You're gonna eat some now? What is that? First bell. Okay. Look, the first bell just rang. We're gonna reposition. That was you time. You time. That's time for you time. We're gonna reposition and take him over to school. I'm gonna fish my burrito and we'll see you back next time.